Hey guys, um, this is episode 1 of Forgotten Tales and I'll be trying to um, get through the game uh, for the best I can and yeah, first thing first when you go in the game you're gonna see login, register, menu, things like that first thing first you're gonna have to um, click register then login is what your name is gonna be Password is your password obviously and password confirm is just to confirm your password Now you need to click I accept uh, the game rules and next thing next we're gonna be choosing our um, avatar Now you can see um, There are a lot of avatars with a lot of skill bases and things to choose from so we got Amazon Freya Huntress Swordsman, Archer, Dark Dwarf, White Mage, Fairy, Ogre. Now, if you want, I can go to them in details in another video. But for the sake of this one, I'm gonna be choosing. Let's see, let's see, I'm gonna be choosing the Archer. Okay, let's click register. <laughs> oh, our name is wrong. Let's see. That's a good name, right? Very original, I know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. See, big brain, big brain. So, yep. We are just gonna do that, hope it works, and voila, it works. Now, from here on now, you're gonna be, I'm seeing this message. You awake in the woods with no memories of how you got there. You feel weak, but you are sure uh, you once feel much more powerful. In distance, you can hear the sounds of somebody chopping wood. At the very moment, you realize that. You do not even know who you are, or even your own name. You decide to head south toward the sound of the woodcutter in search of answers. Um, okay, now that was a brief explanation of um, the beginning of the game, I would say so. First thing first, we're gonna talk to this guy, see what he want. Welcome to the world of fortune tales. I uh, have fun while exploring, you can have online assistance by reading the game help or visit the game form. You can also ask the game master, GM, who has blue or golden name for assistance. They are here to assure that the game is running and the game rules are followed. So that's your um, beginning of the game. Uh, let's see, I want to just uh, check that out because I did not see that one before, so let's check that one out first. But yeah, first thing first, we're going to be um, doing a couple of tasks. So we're going to be beginning with this one. Let's see what we want. Oh, by the way, we are with the green text. Hey, excuse me. You look like a wise old cough cough man. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Uh, I'll give you... Hello there, young child. What sort of question might that be? Oh, um, I'm sorry, I did not mean to offend you. I'm just sort of lost here. Offend me? Well, let me tell you this. If I find you offensive, and you better pray that I don't, I will let you know by turning you into a thought, teleport you to the dungeons of doom to let you defend yourself against a horde of spectral mages. What the heck? Um, now, man, um... Would you like some food? You seem to be very hungry, so perhaps tired? Where? how dare you? I will turn you. Okay, that was a um, mouthful. Master, calm down here. Read this book. It will make you feel better. Mm. Well, very well. Take care of this for me Will you before I do something that I may regret. Interesting, okay. 
I'm sorry about that, you were in fuck right, he's exhausted. Telling stories without a break to all the newcomers here, it's quite taxing. Oh, that's okay. I'm just so confused, so this is still so new to me, and I'm not sure where to start. Well, Master Coogan is usually very friendly. He tells stories to help travels, and he normally guides and helps. Um, all that ask him. I have no idea what is going on, except that he may have lost his mind. Due to lack of sleep and food. I have never seen him like this before. Right, uh, but I would rather not risk my life talking to him again. He's got strong magic that one, and I don't want to give those spectral mages a toad snack. Well, I do see your point, however, I think I may have a solution to our problem. I will tell you more soon, but I have some preparation to make. First, can you please go help? The forester here on map zero zero. I'll finish my preparation. Okay, I will uh, go talk to him and see what I can do. Thank you. Please come back to me when you are done helping him, and we will talk more. I need more time to prepare. Please come back when you have helped the forester. Okay, that was a good um, dialogue. So let's continue. On. Find the forester which will be close to us. Here, here. Let's read what, what he has to say. Good day, stranger. Can I help you? You don't know me? Can I say that I do? Who are you then? I'm not sure I was hoping you know. Anyways, is there a settlement or town nearby? Yes, Kennington is just southwest of here. Thank you for your information and I beat firewell. Wait, please, noble adventure, I could really use your help. What is it? Uh, well, there are some pesky wolves around getting braver each day and they're coming closer and closer to where I am I living. Before long, they will uh, be sharing me or a child for me. I need you to kill at least four of them so they hide again. You know, some these decades ago I lost my brave son to one of those wolves. Can you help me? I'm very sorry for your loss and I will defeat this beast for your safety. Let me uh, let the light of the priest shine on you, my friend. You will find the dirty scavenger seas of my cabin. Good luck. Oh, okay. I thought that this gonna be killing me. Holy moly. So let's check it out. A wolf, it's level 1 enemy. It does 2 damage and its dexterity is 1. And it has about 20 HP and it gives... Uh, to XP, so yeah, uh, we need to kill four of those. But meanwhile, I want to talk to this guy as well. Oh, no more wolves! Great, uh, hello there. Come here, I will help you understand this game. You can also read the game help in the app menu. Uh, first, I'll teach you how to pick up items that are dropped by killing monsters or by looting treasures. The items are displayed on the screen, click on them to add them to your inventory. Okay, uh, in this game, you can. You can explore the world and solve quests, uh, fight monsters, you can craft items, and you can join clans to enjoy PvP. Nice, in PvP also possible without joining any clans, yes, but only in a small 3 level lane range. Thank you. Okay, okay. And I got guarded by this guy, thank let's thank him. Thank you. So what we have to do is um, kill four of those wolves for the moment being, and we are doing pretty great for our time. We can do at least one or two quests. So first thing first, we're gonna need to um, kill four wolves. We already have um, gotten rid of one, and I think we're gonna be needing about the toots. So we're gonna collect them. Let's see our inventory. We get a healing potion. Um, our HP is 52 out of 80, XP is doing fine, so yeah, let's continue on. We're gonna need one more wolf, or just one more. By the way, wolves are in the spawn area all around you, you can find wolves and you can find them. Not only wolves, but you can find spiders as well, so that's a good 
a good thing I guess if you're looking for them of course and yeah it's Christmas so there's these um, Christmas trees here and there so what we're gonna do we're gonna oh man you killed my thingy and who we gonna need to find one more okay perfect perfect so yeah here's your stats um, first thing first armor it's uh, reducing the damage you're gonna take that's why you're gonna need armor dexterity it means that you're gonna hit faster and more frequently the enemy if he has lower dexterity than you of course that is strength um that's gonna be your power and if you're a mage mana which it's a whole different subject that i can talk about but yeah that's gonna be for another video today we're just beginning the game Thank you, you saved our lives. As I told you before, there is a settlement southwest from here. Let's see, could you take this book and give it to the beekeeper in Kiringan village? Please just follow the road to get there. Okay, we level up. Now what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna putting everything to strength. Now, you can save these points. Um, and use them as healings as when you apply one it's gonna fully heal you let's collect the book and as you can see that's the book please say forward we're gonna coin the dungeon now it's gonna be here close to the road so now we're gonna go forward and what you're gonna be finding it's gonna be skeletons you're gonna find Two types of skeletons, one with bows and one with swords. They are similar to their um, amount of stats. Here is a good... Oh gosh, here you can see both. So, both skeleton level 1, damage 6, dexterity 3, HP 15, XP 5. So they're tougher than the wolves and I would recommend you fighting them 1v1 when you're a lower level but after you go through the dungeon you are gonna be greeted with some a good amount of chests oh gosh no wait why cannot can i not pick the chests that look like a scam to me no i don't want to fight you guys leave me alone Okay, then I don't know why I cannot pick the chest. Let's try one more time before we die. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Can we get them? Come on, game. 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 What is this? Well, that, that's not good. Anywho, then. I get it. We cannot pick anything. So we're gonna be heading out. By the way, I uh, mean, right. Uh, down corner you can see we got one healing pot and if it comes to it we can use it to our advantage but let's head out of here if we have no use for this place anyway now, i don't want the view to get too long so i'm gonna try to keep it to 20 minutes but yeah if you can go pick the goat the chests are gonna give you plenty of gold so don't worry about it it's like 200 i think yeah, about that some. Um, does this village want this? Oh, wait, there's one more quest. I was gonna say, does this wizard want to heal me or something? But no. Hello, friend. I'm here to teach you about daily quests. Sounds fun. Please go ahead. There are things in this world which needs accomplished many times. As an example, I will be crafting a short sword for you every day. Okay, please go on. I will sell this sword for 5 gold, you can keep it or sell it for a profit in town. I like the sound of this, when you receive a daily quest, you will notice in your quest log a D quest. Uh, this is the indicator that this quest will reset to be accomplished every day. I think I understand that, thank you. Uh, if you need to, come back anytime, friend, and I shall explain it again. Okay, that was very helpful. 
I like to see that the game is um, helping people understand it. Big keeper here, I said, we need you, boy. Come here. Oh gosh, bees. Now a bee. Let's see, it's that. It's uh, it's a wasp actually. It's um, not as strong as skeleton. It's level one, damage three, armor two, dexterity two, XP thirty. That that was it. The Forester gave me this book, and I'm supposed to deliver it here. Is it yours? Thank you very much, sir. I have been waiting for this book for a long time. Oh, I have a little problem with giant wasps out from here. If you kill 10 of them, I will give you one piece of gold for each thing. Will you help me? Uh, um, if you put it that way, I might as well. So yeah, in this village there will be plenty of quests for you to do, so I would really recommend doing that. So yeah, let's get starting, we need 10 bees, wasps, they're called wasps, pardon me. Now you see we need 10 XP, um, to level up. now we need 120. So the easiest way for us to gain XP would be... um. Either killing wolves or doing quests. And yeah, I'm gonna be going the quests around just to show you guys how it's gonna go and what you should be doing overall. Now, I think we should be able to take on um, five individual wolves, wasps before we have to like take a break to regenerate some health. Uh, by the way, the regeneration of health um, is an actual thing. It happens over time and the more health you got the more you're gonna be regenerating over time so keep that in mind so yeah we're gonna need a total of 10 wasps okay or more precisely wasps stinks this thing yep we're gonna need 10 of those And yeah, I would recommend you fight them individually, if you can, of course. If you can't, well, that, that. So, we need 10 bees to die. And that's gonna give us plenty of gold, which would help with another quest, if I'm not mistaken. So let's drink the potion so I can continue on fighting the bees. We're almost halfway there, five more to go. Overall what I want to be um, showing you guys is going to be um, quests and little things that beginners might not know. Oh gosh, I'm getting to be one. No, nope, nope, nope. I don't like that. Don't like the sound of it at all. I need some help, please. Please, someone. Thank you, good sir. Come here, come. No, no, don't run from me. Help. Help me. No. Help, help, please. Please help me, for God's sake. Ah, help me, please. Adventure. Stop for a second, please, please. No, I don't want to die. Thank you very much. God, that was painful. So we can buy potions if we want. We can buy helmets if we want. We cannot buy um, shields, which is a shame. Let's see what we can buy. This thing, I think it's okay. Level zero, but we don't. We cannot afford it yet, so that's a shame. We can get a leather cap though, so let's get one of those. We're gonna equip it, and we got an extra one point of armor, which would be great. We need five more things, so let's get going and get a couple more of them. Now, as I said, um, probably today um, we're gonna be ending off with. Uh, finishing this quest 
for bees unless there is something like really short like buying something from the shop and like giving it to the guy and we might continue on but overall I don't think the video is gonna be too long because I don't want it to be too long actually I just want to be helpful guys but the beginning was a bit um, too long to say the least so I want the video to be like about 10 minutes just starting to show you things like think of this as a playthrough and now I'm gonna be posting tutorials from time to time like explaining things and yeah if you like that I'm considering subscribing and liking this video as this would um, help me very very much and yeah that's pretty much what I'm gonna be asking from you guys I hope you understand us. I really want to um, help with what I can just because when I started out the game was pretty confusing and don't get me wrong it, it still is confusing for me but I want to help however I can oh god that's gonna be a bit not as easy to deal with um my friend uh gosh no i swear if you give me this bill as well i'm gonna kick your ass okay thank you and i'm not gonna survive that oh gosh i don't know why i get into sort of situations like that but i just do how much Okay, we can survive that one. Okay, guys, it's gonna be easy. So yeah, we're gonna be ending off the video with just completing this quest. And that's gonna be it for this episode. And yeah. Once again, if you like, subs uh, subscribe and like. This would help me a lot. And yeah. This is gonna be for today's episode. Let's finish off though. Great work. Wait, where's my gold? Okay, he gave me gold, okay. So 30 XP and 10 gold, nice. And his next um, quest is gonna be for level 3. So, stay tuned for that and see you in the next one.